Hey there, it's Alex. For the first time in five years, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe has new tracks. This gameplay is going to be a little bit different than what I normally do. Instead of online gameplay, I'm going to play the 150cc Grand Prix for the two new cups so I can get used to these new tracks. And since Coconut Mall is in the first cup we are going to play, I have to use the famous Roy at the Mall combo. It's not only challenging to use because the stats suck, but Roy looks absolutely cool. I mean, look at the guy. We're starting off with a Golden Dash Cup, and it's Paris Promenade. And you're in for a real treat. If you've not seen this course before, it is pretty ridiculous. As in, there's a lot of ways to go. This should be a challenge. Roy at the ball. Oh my gosh, I am a giant compared to everyone else. This is amazing. Okay, Paris Promenade. Roy's making his debut here. And I did not get off to the best start, but that's okay. I kind of know what I'm doing here, but still not really. There's so many paths to take. And yes, the music is phenomenal. They did a great job. And I got a coin second way to honor Roy here. What is Morton using up there? That Oh gosh, that card is awful. Anyways, almost as bad as mine. Maybe it's a little worse. Looks kind of cool though. All right, so yeah, you could actually take a left there. And the course actually changes depending on what lap you're on. It's kind of crazy. Can that product plan get you? I don't want to find out. I would assume it can. Wow, I'm actually not outspeeding the computer. That just shows how probably bad I am at this course. Yep, I under overturned there. And then there's a little S turn here. Let's see how this course changes left to. All right, so you can go down the middle, but I believe you need a mushroom. That's like sand there. That That's not a good idea to go down there. Oh, I did not play my items right at all. Good thing it's just the computer. We're going to try taking that like immediate left right, right out of here. I think it comes up... Dude, maybe not. I'm looking at the map. Yeah, okay, so right here. So you can take a left here. So we're gonna try this. Let's see what where we go. And that is a blooper. So it's I don't know where I'm going this track, and now I can't see. I don't oh, okay. This is like concrete. That's good. Wait, oh my gosh, I need to take a left. Okay. Well the blooper didn't help me there. Somehow I'm still at first. Thank goodness we're playing offline. I'm literally going down the wrong way of the streets of Paris. It's probably not the best thing. And this turn right here, like I can't think of any Mario Kart track that has like that weird like S kind of I don't know it's not even like an S turn I don't even know what that is the exit here but yes yeah, so as you can tell for the third lap now we go like the long way you actually could fly over this which is really cool there's a scooter I wonder if that's like out of bounds if you mess up or you get shocked there that's probably pretty bad okay yep so the front plan can get us confirmed he is he is something else we're ready for a blue shell. Oh, is that the Eiffel Tower going under? I think it is. That is, that's pretty cool. I like how they got the cities in here. I wonder for the next Mario Kart, they'll add even more cities. Well, I guess they have Tokyo in this game. We'll get to that later. Good stuff. Good stuff. I think we got this. Yeah, like I said, this card is not the best, but we make it do. Um, yeah, and then you got to go around. It's sometimes hard to know where to go. If you're playing this for the first time, I suppose you could just go in that roundabout there. But we got to win. Roy at the mall. Good job, buddy. Yeah, Paris Promenade. Pretty good track. I like it a lot. It's one of my favorite, I think, in the DLC. The second track is Toad Circuit. And compared to the other DLC tracks, it's not as elegant, I guess you'd say. But it's fine. It's a good addition to the game. I like it. It's simple. Sometimes Mario Kart tries to do a little too much with its tracks. And sometimes something simple, like just putting a giant toad balloon there, is the way to go. Right, that Morton is our rival here. He got off to a great start. The thing I've learned about this track is the coins are kind of like on the outside a lot. And there's one turn in particular you're just not going to want to take it off. And I'll show you that to you in a second. But yeah, really simple as you can tell. Standard. Got It's pretty wide compared to the other new tracks. Like, I'll talk about that later as well. But okay, so the turn here. So you, so you see how you can get coins up top there, like in the banking? Since there's no boost up there or anything, you really don't want to take that unless you desperately need points. It's pretty slow compared to taking the inside line. I should probably prioritize points, but, you know, we'll take the preferred line here. We'll run the curb. Put that there. We'll put a banana there. More than surprisingly keeping up with me. That's, that's what happens when you use... Not a great cart, but we are stylish. Look at us. We're having a good time. Okay, Alex, you should probably focus on the road ahead instead of looking at Roy, but he's so cool. All right, that actually helped us looking back. Very good. Morton's right there. Yeah, not the longest track. This is actually a pretty short track. I think this might be the second shortest tracks of the new DLC. I think there's one other that's shorter. But it's still a good time. Simple. 
and plenty of toad. So if you use toad here, uh, you, you'll fit in right, right, very good. That didn't make any sense at all, Alex. But anyways, right, very good. Yeah, I should probably never say that again. Let's focus on the road ahead of us. Don't ever take that turn up there. Ooh, that's going to hurt us a lot. Yep, okay, so we're going to win. It's a right, very good win. All right, I need to stop saying that. Get, delete that from my vocabulary. All right, so yeah, there's Toad Circuit. Nothing special. Simple track that they added, but it's fine. There's other elegant tracks to this DLC, I swear. The third track is Chaco Mountain, and I am so excited about this track. Chaco Mountain is one of my favorite tracks of all time. They made some changes to this that I think are very good, and we'll get into that actually real early here. So compared to the Nintendo 64 version, there's some sections that are a little different. You can, they're definitely updated, right? Like, for whatever reason, the, the mountains in like the Nintendo 64 version just didn't look very great at all. So this is this looks really nice, and I really love this cave section. Like, they did a nice job here. And they got a little shortcut there, and I overturned that completely. Jeez, boy, that was bad. That was completely bad. And they have the bats, of course, and then you fly over this ridge. I thought that was I thought that was pretty cool. There's nothing too much to this track either, but uh, except the boulders. But that's that is from the OGs. Oh my gosh, I got smashed! What the heck? All right, well, that's what happens when you talk about boulders. They wanted to smash poor, poor Roy here. Did they even have a shadow? I don't even know. I need to check that out. Next lap, we're gonna we're gonna watch for that. All right, Looper's gonna ruin our vision here a little bit, which is unfortunate. And of course, the music here is awesome. I love it. Absolutely love it. Here comes the blue. There's literally nowhere to go. See, the thing about Chaco Mountain and a lot of the new tracks is there's really tight corridors. Like, extremely tight tracks. So bombs and stuff like that are going to be a problem. And that badge is totally screwed me there. Got our doubles. Get our protection out. Eh, I don't need to put it out. Computer definitely will get red, so they like to. Okay, so is there shadows? Oh, there is. I saw them. I saw it up there. I just didn't have any time to react or I just don't know what I'm doing. I'm sure there's certain parts of the track where, like, the boulders always fall. So I'm sure people will learn just not to drive. Yes, and I love this section at the end. I've had so many good moments over time at that end section of Chaco Mountain. I, it, it just brings back memories, for sure. Big nostalgia here. But yeah, there's nothing too much to this track. Good stuff. Roy's having a good time here. He, driving through the mountains. He's excited to go to the mall next. Yeah, I, I think I like this cave section the most. This is probably my favorite part of this track. Yeah, it would be cool if, you know how they have this wall here? If they added some sort of like, you know, boost or glider abilities or something up there, but, you know, kind of like Flomp Runes has, that'd be kind of nice, but that's just me nitpicking, just to make it a little more interactive, because yeah, this road is tight. And when you play online gameplay against others, it gets ridiculous here. But easy enough, we're playing the computer. Got a first, and Roy is excited because next he is going to the mall. All right, Coconut Mall. What we've all been waiting for. This is the most anticipated track for the DLC. And I have to say, Coconut Mall is a lot of fun. There's one thing I have to nitpick about it, and we'll get to that section. It's actually at the end of the track. So this stuff is all good. You want to go through here past the shops. This is the preferred line usually. It always has been. And how you play the fountains, you want to get the boost off there. Okay, I played this totally wrong. Maybe lap two, I'll give you a bit of here. This I found hard if you have a lot of speed to, to really hug that line. All right, so on these little grooves here, you want to catch the sides of them. Because if you, no, not not that one. Okay, so I'm really butchering this here. But you'll see that on the little fountains, you really want to hit the sides of them. And I've misplayed this a little bit too. All right, so this is not how you play Coconut Mall. I'm not doing it right. All right, here's my nitpicky thing though. At the end of the track here, the cars used to move. They just sit here. And so that randomness, ridiculousness, like the wild races you, have, you would have at Coconut Mall, might be over because those cars don't move. You don't, you know where they're gonna be at all times, which is a shame. All right, so we'll go down here. This is not the preferred lane, but it's actually a nice lane if you don't wanna get in a lot of traffic. Like no one's really gonna take this lane, which is kind of nice. And I didn't get that jump there because it's harder when you're, you're small with Mr. Mr. Roy here. Okay, so then we, so yeah, you play these like this. Yep, you don't want to take a big, oh, I wasn't able to get it. So you haven't, I haven't mastered it yet. But in Mario Kart 7, this track was in this game as well, including Mario Kart Wii. But Mario Kart 7, that was how you really wanted to play it. 
to get the best best bang for your buck on that section. And this just makes me sad. I mean, yeah, this is a bit disappointing why the cars aren't moving. I don't know for sure. I don't know if it was too hard for Nintendo to port over or or what. I'm not, I, I don't know. All right, we're gonna try going past the shops here. If I slow down, but we'll, we'll just make it happen. And yep, you can go through here and have a good time. Yep, and if you catch this, oh dang. Yeah, I just need to work on my fountain game a little bit. And yeah, you can. I, I will say this about the new tracks. Like, they are tight. So, if you're trying to take tight lines, it can be a little difficult. You might run into stuff like I have. Uh, let's go up here. You guys can see this. So, you get item access, a double item if you want it. And this is like, hey, I, I need to make a play. That's where you go. Yep. And good stuff there. That disappoints me, like we've talked about already. And there you go, Coconut Mall. The music's fun. The action online is intense for sure. I did play on the live stream yesterday and it was it was crazy here for sure. That end section, a little disappointing, but yeah, that is the first cup. View the results. I have actually haven't played through the cups. This is my first time actually doing the cups offline here. And what happens here? Does anything special happen with this DLC? I'm probably not, I'm sure it's the same. Yeah, it does its like little replay thing. Okay, Chocolate Mountain. Oh, oh, was that after I got smushed? I think that was after I got smushed. Why are they showing that? That wasn't a good replay. But yeah, look at me take. Oh, why are they showing all the bad moments? What the heck? What else did they do? First of all, that car looks so cool. All right, there we go. I did something good there. First in every track. That's cool. I don't think it does anything else. Yeah, I think, I think that's what we do there. Yep. Oh yeah. Yep. Just golds. I get three stars. I got three stars. Awesome. Okay. We're going to play the next cup. I'm going to switch up the combination and have some fun. But yeah, let's do next cup. The Nightmare Bones combo. Yes, it's Dry Bones on the Bone Rattler. Metal Wheels and Gold Glider. Statistically, it is better than what we used previously, but it's still not great. The Bone Rattler looks super cool. It might be my favorite looking part, but unfortunately, its stats aren't great. But nonetheless, we'll be out there in style. New tracks. Let's go. For the Lucky Cat Cup, we are starting off with Tokyo Blur. And this track is really growing on me. When I first started it, I was like, eh, this is kind of underwhelming. But as you'll see during each lap, the track changes. And that's pretty cool. I like it. And it's got some highway driving, which is nice. I'm on the Bone Rattler, which is one reason why I wanted to drive this, this thing on the highway. Could you imagine driving this on the highway? You'd be the coolest looking person maybe in the world. And Jai Bones is not using a helmet. I know that's not safe, but he makes it happen and he is having fun. All right, let's see if we get a green shell cutter. All right, see you, Inkling girl. You got nothing on our Nightmare Bones combo. There's a shortcut right there. I just noticed I had not noticed that before. I've only played these online, so it's hard for me to see like where to go and what the best is. So this track is gonna change. Watch this. This will be super cool. We're gonna see it change. And wow, this track, Combination is definitely better. I'm way more pulled away than it was last cup. See how they add the flomp? That's cool. Then you go left instead of right. That's fine. Fun. And I don't know what that balloon is there. That's kind of interesting. Is there probably a blue coming for me? No, there isn't. Surprising. I'm just going to try this. What? You know, and 200 CC, you might be able to skip over into that. Interesting. We'll, we'll have to try that out in another video. That's lap two. We're doing some highway driving. It's fun. Here's the blue shell. It's going to absolutely rock me. And now the computer here, they're making their move. We'll throw that bomb back there just for fun. No we'll get coins here. Should know that there's a little double item box there. There's our swap. And I think this is the really cool thing that I like. Yeah. Oh, look at that. We're going through the toll booth, baby. Take my money. Although it seemed like it was free. Maybe I got like... Here we got something called an eye pass. So I'm assuming that's what Dry Bones has. I don't know what they have in Tokyo, but... Looks like he didn't, uh... He didn't need to pay put the coins in the slot. Uh-oh. Another blue. Jeez, they are really punishing me here. Still gonna win. Still gonna win. Dry Bones! So there's Tokyo Blur. It's a short track, but I kind of like it. I like the diversity there. Uh, there's... I don't really know all the shortcuts yet. I just saw one, but there might be more that I'm missing. But, yeah, fine track. Good addition to the game, I think. Ah, uh, yes. The second race in this cup is Shroom Ridge. A DS favorite for sure. I'm very excited about this track. There is a cool shortcut opportunity that they added here over this giant hill. That's awesome. 
And yeah, I think they, they did a really nice job with this track. Unfortunately, I suck at tracks with moving cars. Don't ask. Toad's Turnpike is like my worst track ever. So I won't be good here either. But we're going to have some fun. Some good stuff. And yeah, more highway driving. So that's like, this is be called the Highway Cup. Instead of the Lucky Cat Cup. No, don't hit me there. No, no, no. So, okay. So, to me, to the left there. You see that? There was a ramp. That's your shortcut point. That's where you're going to make up time here at Shroom Ridge. If you got mushrooms or something good like that. Maybe I'll fall back and take that. You know what? We're going to do that. We're going to do that. We're going to fall back. Coming left. Computer's bad. We'll get up there. Come on. All right, we're, oh, we're just going to pop that. Oh, my gosh. That poor truck. That driver's probably like, what the heck happened? All right. So, we need to get a mushroom. I want to try that for the next section. I'm gonna try that part for the next section of the track. There is a shortcut here at the end too, I think. I believe there is. I haven't really, well, I didn't get any items that can help me get over that ridge. That's unfortunate. We'll slow up again. We'll, we'll do what we need to do. All right, the moving, the moving item box is kind of annoying. Give me a mushroom. Come on. All right, give me a mushroom. Mushroom. All right, we got one. All right, very good. Wow, we really had to work for a boost item here and we just ran into the truck. All right, so don't, this is not how you play Mario Kart. This is how you do shortcuts that you, you want to show your audience. All right, so here it is up here. And it, yeah, it's a really hard left and boom. So that, yeah, that's a nice shortcut. I like that. Ooh, that really pops you up. Ooh, usually those like ramps don't pop you up. They kind of like give you a straight line, but there's, all right. So there's another shortcut coming up right here. I don't know what, you see that little wind thing? I don't know how you get that, but I think you need a mushroom, but it could be make for some epic plays. I'm not sure. So yeah, we'll, we'll go to first place. Now the computer's pretty much slowing up for us. See how slow they go. Gotta love rubber banding. Gotta love that. Oh, triple banana. Perfect. Triple nana. Yeah, we should win this still. Take it real... Oh, gosh! I don't know if that's the play or not there, but that was... The truck was kind of in my way. Did not want me to go where I wanted to go. Yep, there's a shortcut we won't be able to do. Where's the blue shell? I'm sure it's coming for us. Nope. Getting a little lucky for once. I like how the Koopas are just cheering you on. Saying, go, Dry Bones, go. Your Nightmare Bones combo. Yes, excellent. Oh, oh, I almost hit that banana. Yeah, I, this section at the end, I think, will create for a lot of good races. The S turns. It's going to be super fun. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Woo. Well, good thing the red hit me there. I maybe could have lost that. Yeah, I would say probably in the DLC, one of the better tracks. I think everyone anticipated it would have. There's just a lot going on in that track that's... That's fun and exciting, and I think the ending of that track will be really awesome. The third race is Sky Garden, and I think people will have mixed feelings about this track. It's a Game Boy Advance track, so you know it's going to be shorter than other tracks. And I actually kind of like it. The only thing, complaint I'll have here, like I said, it's a Game Boy Advance track. Look how skinny the roads are. You talking bombs effective here? Bombs, fireballs. And boomerangs are just going to devastate people here. I don't know why I used that coin there. That was bad item management, but we it was fine. And yeah, you just kind of go on the track. You could kind of drive on the clouds a little bit. Okay, no, you can't. They'll slow you down. All right. I take back what I said. You can't. There's a shortcut point right up there. That if you get a mushroom, you just plow through there. So that will lead for your exciting ending. And then you have a jump end. Really simple track. There's not too much to it. The next track on the list is... Um, yeah, that is a monsterly awesome track, but we'll get to that. Let's focus on this one, out. Oh, I'll take that leap the next time. Oh, I got a mushroom. That's actually great. We can do that shortcut at the end. So you guys can see how to do that. But yeah, you just bounce over the mushrooms. Pretty simple track. Uh, could I do without this track? Probably. Um, but it's it's fine. It's pretty easy. It, I think it might be the tightest track in the game. I don't think there's anything. Maybe Wario Stadium is tighter like in terms of you know how much track you have to work with but i mean this thing is pretty narrow okay oh we're taking the leap that's right so you probably want a mushroom for this but you can take it and that, maybe you don't need a mushroom that was actually pretty solid yeah good stuff oh we got a bomb it won't be effective so we'll just hold on to it oh i just totally messed up all right we got to throw that there because the red coming yeah it just exploded we're almost done with this track already. It is a quick hitter. Uh-oh. I should not have put this banana out. Whoops. We got Mr. Blue coming. Uh-oh. That's going to hit us in a bad spot. Oh, boy. Oh, no. Are we going to lose? Oh, wow. I'm actually going to lose the good Peters. Are you kidding me? 
Well then. Well that, I wish I could erase this recording. That's embarrassing. I can't remember the last time I lost to the computers just in a regular cup race. But it happened because of a bad timed blue shell. All right, my favorite track of the DLC is coming up. So excited. This track is so good. S tier. The final track of the new DLC is Ninja Hideaway. And this is truly, I'm talking truly a gem. I think this is an S tier track. Hands down. Just watch and see what happens. It is crazy. There is a lot going on in Ninja Hideaway. A lot happening here. There are so many paths you can take. The turns are insane. All right, uh, there's quick ways to do that too. I'm gonna go upstairs. You can go downstairs. We'll try our different paths each lap. But yeah, there's a lot going on here. And the music just is amazing. Apparently that thing jumped on me. I don't know what happened. So then you have this long opportunity. Shocks are just gonna kill people here. Where you're just flying over this huge ridge, the bamboo school. Yeah, this, I mean, this track is so good. There's a lot happening. Tough turns, too. It's not an easy track. Not easy at all. And then you do the rooftops. This is really cool. And, yeah, that's that's lap, one lap. Now let's try a different way. Let's try a different way here. All right, Jibon, do your tricks, buddy. Oh, he's, he's loving. He's loving Ninja Hideaway. So now we're going to try up here. Go a different route. Let's go down here. Let's not go up the stairs. I actually don't really go this way. Oh my gosh! Yeah, yeah, this this track's amazing. All right, so that that will scare you if you're not really expecting it. And there's little shy guys down here rooting you on. Okay, so if you go down this bottom road, you should get enough upward momentum. Come up here, and then you go on the support beams. Really fun. And can I stay up here? Oh gosh! All right, let's keep let's keep it up. All right, we're up. Beautiful. And yeah, this this is awesome. And then right here, there's like a really tough left. Wow, the computer's actually that close? I'm shocked. I'm shocked. And there you go. And then you can take the ending there too. So yeah, a lot to do here at Ninja Hideaway. I absolutely love this track. It is my favorite of the DLC. God, it's right up there with any track in this game. My opinion, we'll go up again. I don't know if there's any other ways we could take. I'm sure there is. This this turn right here. Oh, yeah, we could go up here. Oh, this thing's just not here. Okay, yeah, you don't want to boost there. You could actually get really screwed up. You could get really screwed up there. We're not going to go to the top. We're going to go to the bottom. I didn't any items. It's not how you run it. Can I get a boost there? Oh, we can. Okay, so you want to combo that there. I just saw a little ridge and took the opportunity. All right, let's go to the rooftops again. And then you could actually, if you're like, hey, I'm not feeling the rooftops, you could do this. Someone's going to take your item or something. You want the double so you can come up here. Are they going to beat us? Wow, we might lose again. I am embarrassed. Okay, well, we have some work to do on these DLC tracks. I still won the cup, but I didn't win the races. Yeah, I'm truly embarrassed. Of course, it's Waluigi that beat us there. But nonetheless, we got first in the cup. Let's watch the results. I'm sure it'll show all the bad moments again because what it did last time. That was weird. All right, what does the game load for us? What are you going to show us? Gonna show us results wise. All right. Nightmare Bones combo. Oh yeah. Oh maybe it is showing some good moments for once. Oh yeah. Someone honked a horn. Oh, green shell connect. Let's go, Dry Bones. Oh, this card looks so cool. I love it. Dry Bones has such a good time on it. I mean, look at him. Oh, why are you showing that? Yeah, let's show you get blue shell. Yeah, I don't understand these replays anyways. Now they do it. Just. Just checking to see if anything happens there. Nope, you just win a trophy. And there it is. So, all right. Well, I guess I'm going to wrap up the video. We'll make Alex big. Oh, hello. Alex is big. We'll wrap up the video there. That is the new DLC. Eight new tracks. I love some. Summer, eh, whatever. Coconut Mall, a little bit disappointing. But Ninja Hideaway. Keep adding more of that. Mario Kart. So, guys. Let me know in the comments what you guys think of the new DLC. And let me know what your favorite new track is and what your least favorite new track is. Be awesome to hear from you. Excited to hear your opinion. And until next time, guys, thank you so much. I am stoked for the new DLC and can't wait to play it more. Until next time, guys, take care.